An Israeli F-35 has knocked out an incoming land attack cruise missile. The Israeli Defense Forces, IDF, announced that the F-35I successfully intercepted a cruise missile, and later that day, the Aero Anti-Ballistic Missile System destroyed a surface-to-surface -surface missile over the Red Sea. IDF said, from the north to the south, the IAF and its air defense array are deployed to provide multi-dimensional defense and provide additional layers of protection against a multitude of threats to the state of Israel. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how American-made Israeli F-35 Adir took out a hostile cruise missile with AIM-9X. Let's get into the details. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. A brief video shared in the tweet features footage likely captured from the helmet-mounted display of an F-35i or possibly from its electro-optical targeting system. It clearly displays a jet-propelled winged cruise missile within the crosshairs. The video captures the moment of launch of what is almost certainly an AIM-9X Sidewinder infrared-guided missile. As the missile departs from the wing, there is a visible shower of sparks and debris close to the frame. Subsequently, the missile makes a sharp left turn before hitting its intended target. This serves as a compelling demonstration of the AIM-9X's impressive off-boresight engagement capabilities. Regarding the F-35I's interception, there have been no specific details disclosed concerning the precise time, location, or source of the cruise missile. Nonetheless, the assertion that the missile was launched from the southeast towards Israel strongly indicates that it likely originated from Iranian-backed Houthi militants in Yemen. The Times of Israel has also reached the same conclusion, stating that the missile was likely fired by the Houthi group. They pointed out that the IDF has intercepted numerous targets, seemingly drones originated from Yemen, over the Red Sea in recent days. The Houthi movement, colloquially simply Houthis, is an Islamist political an armed organization that emerged from the Yemeni government of Sada in the 1990s. Houthi rebels in Yemen have previously expressed an interest in combating Israel, and they reasserted this desire during the 2021 conflict between Israel and Hamas. A few days earlier, Abdel Malek al Houthi, the rebel group's leader, warned the United States against intervening in the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas. The Houthis have also been releasing video footage claiming to depict the launch of cruise missiles and drones aimed at Israeli targets. The group is known to possess advancing long-range strike capabilities, such as the Quds series of land attack cruise missiles thought to be provided by Iran. Importantly, a particular missile intercepted by F-35I is reported to be resembling Quds. The IAF has an estimated 648 aircraft of all types manned and serviced by 35,000 active duty personnel. The crown jewel here is the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, which is a fifth generation, single seat, single engine, all weather, stealthy, multi-role fighter. Israel is the first country outside the US to acquire them and has a customized variant. It's already operationalized 36 F-35s and has plans to acquire around 75 of these. Israel has maintained that the Lockheed Martin F-35 is a game changer and it's the first country in the world to carry out an operational attack using the F-35 when they struck several Iranian targets in Iraq twice in 2018. 
F-35 is well designed to counter cruise missiles and drones owing to its comprehensive sensor suite that encompasses a highly advanced ANAPG-81 active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar, an electro-optical targeting system, EOTS, and sensor fusion capabilities. Cruise missiles and drones typically operate at low altitudes, and their relatively small radar cross-section makes them particularly challenging for traditional air defense systems. Modern AESE radars, like the one in F-35, greatly outperform traditional mechanically scanned array radars when it comes to looking down to detect elusive targets and effectively tracking and engaging them once detected. For air-to-air -air engagements, Israeli F-35Is are armed with AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missiles or AMRAMs, as well as Short Range AIM-9X. AIM-9X is designed for within visual range engagement and has a range of 35 kilometers or 22 miles. It has the upgraded rocket motor and warhead, apart from the inclusion of fixed forward canards and smaller fins designed to increase flight performance. The X model is also compatible with joint helmet-mounted queuing system, which is designed for ease of target acquisition and decreased aircrew workload. It also has 90-degree off-bore sight capability, which means that before launch, the missile's radar or IR sensor can be queued to a target considerably off the nose of the launching aircraft. The deployment of the F-35I by Israel in the ongoing conflict should not come as a surprise. Israel has consistently demonstrated a readiness to engage its F-35I fleet in combat operations. In 2022, the Israeli Air Force disclosed that their F-35Is had participated in aerial confrontations the year before, successfully intercepting and downing at least two Iranian drones believed to be approaching Israeli airspace. This marked the first instance where F-35 aircraft from any nation were officially acknowledged for neutralizing airborne threats. While the F-35I is frequently regarded as a potent asset for striking heavily fortified ground targets over extended distances, its capability to engage cruise missiles is also a noteworthy advantage. AIM-9X is a dependable weapon. Viewers may note that it was used by the U.S. to shoot down a Chinese surveillance balloon off the coast of South Carolina. At that instance, it was fired from an F-22 Raptor. It's evident that American weapons in the hands of well-trained Israeli personnel are proving effective. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.